Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today I wanted to talk to you about items that I've purchased from Timu. These are going to be reviews on what my thoughts are on each individual item. I'm gonna share with you guys how it works, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and so on. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I wanna share with you guys is this Game Box Plus. This is kind of like an old school Game Boy. It does have 200 plus games on it, so you're gonna find the old Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, um, King Kong, King Kong, what is it? Donkey Kong, um, Tetris is on here. There's just so many games on here. You will see that some of these games are in Chinese. They're Chinese games, but it's pretty cool. So the one that I chose is just this black Game Boy or game box. So this is the little game box. You have your on and off here. This is where you would plug in to charge. The volume is here. It's just a little thing that you just, what is that called? I don't know, a little knob type thing. Um, they give you a choice. Number one is Chinese, number two is English. They have these little buttons. So I would just go down and hit select, which is here. And then these are all of the games, you guys. So let me just share the games with you. So you can just arrow over to go to the next page to see what they have. So many different games. But I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna share with you Super Mario. So I think you just hit start or select. You hit select, here it is you guys, look at that. Oh my goodness, I can't even. So you have one player or two player. I wonder if the two player works with the thing in there, but we're just gonna hit one player and here we go. I really wanted to make sure to share the actual game with you guys. I mean, the clarity is really good. It's a really good little handheld game. It is legit the same exact game we used to play on the Nintendo. I was afraid to have the music just because I wasn't sure if I was going to get a copyright flag. So I just wanted to share a little bit of this game with you. I am going to move on to another game, which is Super Mario 3, just to kind of share the beginning part of that game with you as well. I will say that the screen is a little bit small and it's kind of hard with the controllers just because my fingers are a little bit larger and of my nails um, so if you can attach it to your TV or connect it to your TV not attach it you guys you know what I'm saying but that would definitely be a great way to play and this is the Chipping Dale game it is in Chinese but as you can see I can still play it so that is the little handheld game box I love it Love it, love it. It comes with the actual game box here. It comes with a remote. It does have these cords if you want to connect it to the TV. And then this is a charging um, cord. So you would just connect one piece or one end of it to the actual game box and then the other end to one of your plugs. I just use our phone plugs. We actually really love this Game Boy, or game, I keep saying Game Boy. We really do love this Game Box. It works wonderful. It's really, really lightweight. So you can tell that it is on the cheaper side, but my son and my daughter really love it. I originally purchased this for my 80s video because I did a video on Timu items and on Dollar Tree items that reminded me of the 80s. So if you haven't checked those out, make sure you do. I will say the Timu did so much better, so I would definitely check out the Timu one. And if you just want to compare the two, check out both of them. But that is my intended purpose for this was for that video. And I knew I was going to give it to the kids after. I just didn't know really what it did, how well it worked. And can I just say that they love it. The first day that they started playing with it, they were sharing it back and forth and um, they just, they really enjoy playing it. I even played it, my husband played it, it was fun. It brought me back. So if you wanna keep your kiddos occupied, maybe on a car ride or something like that, these would be awesome. Now I don't know how long the actual, actual battery life is. I haven't paid attention to that. But if I do find out how long the battery is supposed to last, I will let you guys know. But we really do love this little game so box. The next item that I wanted to share is this little mini printer. Now I picked this up for our homeschool room for my journaling. What it is, is it's a mini printer that you download an app to your phone or your tablet and you can link the photos from your phone or your device to this little printer. 
it has this little cord that you can charge it with so again you attach one end to the printer and the other end to a little you know plug for the outlet i again use my phone charger um so this is how you charge it but basically what it is is inside there's like a little um flap that you pull down and it's like receipt paper and then it even has like the little serrated sharp edge here that you rip the pages now i will say that we really do love this the clarity of the printouts are not great but it's perfect for like journaling or um you know keepsake type things letting your kids print out stuff on it it's just really cool in that way but it does not look like an actual photo that you print out but we do really love this i haven't had any problems linking it up to the app or anything it just runs on bluetooth and it was really easy for my phone to find this you know in the accessories when you link them together super easy to use it does come with a little manual to kind of explain to you how to use it so this is the mini printer and the blue light flashing is just showing that it's connected to my bluetooth this is the power button and so basically what i've done is i've uploaded the um the app already to my phone so it's called walk print and it has different options but i'm going to do print the picture i'm going to go to photos Okay, so these are the pictures that I have to try to print out. So we're gonna do more of like an outdoor nature print. So it's going to be black and white just like that. Okay, so let's see how good it turns out. Let's see, you can actually change some of the um, effects to it. And let's see what else. Like the exposure, um, bold enhancement sketch oh sketch is kind of pretty that would be really cool in a journal or junk journal um let's go back to default so we have what's this graffiti i don't know what that means and then you could rotate it so let's go back to effects i'm going to go back to default default and i'm going to actually print this out okay so we're going to insert and then we are going to hit that and then let's see what it shows moderate dark custom so we'll go ahead and just stick with light and I'm just gonna print print by pushing that and so let's see what it has for us so it does the date this one's kind of hard to see so that's on light let's isn't that kind of cool I think it's kind of cool let's try to do it on dark maybe it'll print out a little bit better or if there's even a difference uh-oh uh-oh okay well I ripped that one not very good I ripped upward instead of downward, I think. So make sure you don't do that. And it even tells you when the printer is out of paper. Mm, do you see a difference? I don't know if there's a difference, but that's kind of cute. So let's go ahead and see what the other ones look like. So that is, we won't save. We'll go back to print picture. Let's try this one. Now this one is just a cover of one of the books that I put together for my homeschooling community. So let's go ahead and hit this. We're gonna start printing that. Something a little more basic, not a lot of detail to it. Wow, this one looks really good. So I think it just depends on what you are trying to print out. I have two more that we're gonna try. That looks really good. 
It has the timestamp, like I said, which is kind of cool. So let's go back. Oh, I hope this one looks good. So pretty. Why did it do that? Did I, oh, I hit the wrong button. I think it is so cool. Wow, that one actually looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? Oh, sorry. What do you guys think? Look at that. That looks pretty good. Okay, one more. It's just a portrait and it's just of one of my thumbnails. Just so that, just so that um, we could see what it looks like, you know, as a, an actual portrait. So we're gonna insert this. Can I take off the black at all? No, I guess not. Okay, so let's go ahead and print that. Oh, it's little. I mean, it actually looks pretty good. Like considering what this is and how much it cost, not bad. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this. So that is the little mini printer. So you just turn it off by pushing that button, holding it down, and it also has this little manual. There's a lot of things on here that I was noticing. You can actually print out labels. Here's templates. Oh look, they already have templates in here. You have a template for to-do list. You have fun templates. You have frames. And then you can even do labels, which is pretty cool. Oh, so it shows you what types of labels you want. Lifestyle, decoration, mom and kids. That's kind of cool. Hmm. So they have a lot of things on here that you can play around with. So really good for the price. That is our mini printer and we love it. So the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this little batter dispenser. So it has like this little plug here that you use with your finger. And originally when I first got it, I was worried that it wouldn't work well because of the, the I don't know how to explain it, but how you lift it, it kind of feels like it wouldn't hold the batter inside this once the plug was in. But it works so well. My daughter uses this. She's made pancakes with it and muffins. And I really do not have any complaints about this at all. It works really well. She can use it just with her one finger, pushing it up and pushing it down. I mean, it works good. I have no complaints about it. I have not washed it in the dishwasher. I don't know if it's dishwasher safe. It is pretty cheap plastic. So you may wanna just hand wash it and put it in your dish rack. So the next item I wanted to share is my little handy dandy electric hand sewing machine. Um, I did pick it up in black. I do believe they have white. I want to say it was only $8. It does run on batteries. Super easy to use. You can find a tutorial like on YouTube on how to use it. I will say that it's very basic, easy for a beginner um, because I'm a beginner. I don't know one thing about sewing you guys. But you do kind of have to have like a steady hand when you are sewing a straight line. I have not perfected that yet. I probably will never. But if you want something sewn for maybe like your junk journal or something like that, I've done it on paper. It's worked really well. I don't know how well it will work if you do it on really thick paper or like a stack of paper together. I'm not quite sure. I have used cardstock where it's been folded. So, you know, two pieces of cardstock I've sewn together, but I love this. I would definitely purchase again. Um, I have another one. I think I did it in my last review, but it's more like you have to like squeeze it to sew. 
that one I would definitely not get. So I'd spend a few more dollars. I want to say like five or maybe even six more dollars on one of these. Two items that I wanted to share with you guys. It's just regular paper, um, designed paper that I had purchased from Timu. One thing I wanted to mention with this sewing machine is you can only get this type of stitch. It only has one stitch. You can see I'm not great at it yet, but I'm learning. Also, you wanna make sure not to pull the sewing machine as you're holding it. Just kinda of let it do its thing and you just guide it. But this is just a little pocket that I made. And then on the other side where I ended the thread, I wasn't, I don't think I needed to put glue, but I did just to kinda of reinforce it so it doesn't pull through the paper. And I still have to cut the thread off. But this is one of my little pockets that I made. And I did this one as well. I wanted to do one that you can actually see the threading on it. But you can see where I kind of pulled it right here. Um, you can tell that I pulled the machine a little bit because the thread is a little bit longer. So just be sure that you're not pulling on it. But this is another little pocket. And these are just book pages that I used. Um, yeah, so those are the two that I've already done. But I wanted to share with you guys how to do it. So, so this is the paper that I'm going to share how to do it on. Um, I also wanted to share the actual sewing machine with you. So this is the sewing machine. You have your on and off switch here. And then this you press for the power. So you would just press this down. And then, let me see if I can, there. Okay, so here you can see that the needle is down and if you wanna raise it, you just use this little lever and you, or knob, and you just turn it until the needle lifts up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not down. And then this little piece here is so that you can lift it to put whatever you are going to be sewing underneath of it. Let me see if I could get this string out a little bit. I don't wanna lose that, hold on. Oh, my finger there okay so I need a little bit of that edge of the thread to be coming out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold my piece of paper here this is cardstock and I think I'm just going to be sewing down across the bottom so that it's like a pocket that I could slip things in here but it stays so if you can see this little lever here, this is what you are going to lift up on like that. You don't want to press too hard on it. Then you take the paper and you're just going to load it straight underneath of that, but make sure your thread is off to the side. Kind of hard doing it so that you guys can see. Now I have this too far over, so I want to feed this into there. So I'm going to start it to where my paper, if you can see the metal piece here that lifts, I'm starting it right here so it's lined up. And then I'm just gonna follow it all the way around across here. And I'm gonna kind of watch this to keep it level with that. And I am still learning, so don't judge me, okay? As you can see, it's not great. And I don't know if that's just me because I'm learning how to do it or if it's the sewing machine. I felt like it had a little bit of a harder time getting through the cardstock than the paper, but on the other hand, I feel like it wasn't like ripping as much. If you're just using it for basic things, I would say just purchase one if you don't wanna spend the money on a real sewing machine. But I like it. I think it works pretty good for what it is. It was only $8, so you can't expect a whole lot, but it does what it should be doing, and that's what I like about it. Super easy to use, super lightweight, runs on battery, really easy for beginners. So there it is. There's my little pocket. And this is basically to put paper just inside the junk journals, you know? You can change out the thread here. And I wanna say that they even have like an extender here so you can put the bigger spools of thread on it. So, so yeah, I love that. Okay, the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is my little fanny pack. So 
Um, my videos usually come out about two weeks later than when I actually film them. Maybe not with my Dollar Tree things, but with my Timu, it's probably about two weeks behind. So I've been using this for, I want to say, a month and a half, maybe two months. And I kind of stuff it full. I need like a million things, and this doesn't really hold much. But I will say that it's falling apart. So the thread is coming out here. The zippers worked really well, but what I didn't notice when I first purchased it was in the smaller pocket. It has like this white, I don't even know what that is, like matting or something. And I had stuff in that front pocket and it started to like fall apart in there and get on everything. So that wasn't great. I noticed that the material that separated the two pockets came apart. So the the thread came all the way out of of the fanny pack you guys so i would say if you're going to use this every day do not get it if you're only going to use it once in a while and you're only going to have like really light things in here maybe like your phone and a lip gloss or something like that maybe a little like a single key that'd probably be fine and if you were wearing it once in a while but i wore it every day and well when I went out I wore it every day when I went out and I had like a small wallet in it I had my sanitizer I had my phone I had my keys I had my lip gloss I had my aquaphor <laughs> I had my eye drops like it was packed okay so I think just depending on how you're going to wear this it may last a little longer but it's not great quality so if you want to spend two dollars and get a little bit of use out of it I say it's worth it if you want to spend maybe a little bit more money on one or get a different fanny pack. I don't know what these are called, you guys. Over the shoulder little pouches. I don't know. Um, but you can do that. Just They have so many varieties on there. Just try different ones out. So the next item I wanted to share with you guys. I purchased this for my dog. Now, he's a puppy. He's actually, what is he, nine months? He'll be ten months. Um, but he knows to go to the back door to go potty outside. Or if he wants to go outside and just play and run around. But I was told by the woman that I purchased him from that her dogs use bells on the back door. So when I saw this bell, like this doorbell on Timu, I had to get it. It has like a little piece that goes around your doorknob. There are two little buttons here so you can make it bigger or smaller depending on your doorknob. And then it's a long piece of material that has bells that hang. He picked up on ringing this bell literally I want to say within the first like three days so he goes up there and he'll just knock the bell so I can hear him wherever I'm at in the house I don't have to worry about like him just sitting by the back door and me not knowing I don't have to worry about him scratching at the door or anything like that because as soon as I hear him ringing the bells I know he wants outside so if you guys have a dog and you want something like this, it's awesome. It could be used on bigger dogs, smaller dogs. I would say just watch your puppy and make sure that he's not getting one of the bells or like biting it or something, you know, at least while he's first getting used to it or she is. But this thing is awesome and I would definitely recommend this item on Timu. Okay, so the next items are rings. And these rings are silver rings and I started getting them quite a few months ago and I just been adding to my collection. I wear rings a lot. I do not wash my my hands with them I do not sleep in them I do not take showers in them I take them off so I'm just like wearing them with my everyday you know wear and tear I guess um, they never turned my fingers any colors but they are starting to show like that pinkish um, coppery look through it now these know. rings I never put the clear nail polish on it I know that you guys recommended that and I wanted to do like a group of rings without it and then the new sets that I or the new rings that I do start hauling I'm going to coat them with a clear nail polish and I'm gonna see how much longer those last um, but I am a little bummed because I really liked these rings but literally they were like a dollar a dollar eighteen maybe two dollars at the most so I think that I got enough time out of them, like use out of them, but I mean, 
I'm not wearing them anymore because you can definitely tell that they're changing color. So I'm going to see how they work in maybe a junk journal or something like that, or I'm just going to throw them away. I'm not, not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I did want to share that with you guys. All right, and the last item I wanted to talk to you guys about is the little mini microscopes and the microscope slides. I don't have it with me because I packed it up in a tote for my next year's homeschool year because that's when I'm gonna start using it. I like to like save the stuff that I get to use for a new year, just kind of keep things fresh in the homeschool room. Now, I did put this in my previous review, but just in case you missed that one, it works great. I love it. Um, my husband had to kind of figure out how to have it work for me to be able to focus, but there are two little blue knobs on it and those you're just going to want to turn until you get it focused, but you're actually using both of those to focus the actual microscope and the microscope slides work perfectly. With that, you can even look at other things with the mini microscope, not just the slides, and it works great, you guys. I'm thinking it's going to work wonderful once we go outside and start looking at like leaves and plants and flowers maybe even bugs and stuff like that with it, um, just because you'll have the real sunlight and everything to kind of help you with that. But it works wonderful, so if it's something that you've been thinking about getting and you haven't, I would definitely spend the money on it. I know that they're closer to like $20 on Amazon, so if you're gonna pick one up, that would be a great one. Good for hiking, good for little trips, good for nature walks, anything like that. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you have purchased any of these items and if you're having the same experience with them or if you're not, let me know too. Um, now, remember, these are just my opinion. This is what I think of these items. So you may purchase some of them and not get the same experience or feeling about them that I have. Um, let me know if there are any of these items that maybe you've thought about getting and you were not quite sure and this video has helped you. But with all that being said, you guys, thanks again for hanging out with me today. Be safe, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.